Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's Pythia, and welcome back to another Grow a Garden tutorial. This is part 10, if I'm correct. On the last tutorial, we talked about uh, making mutations. Now, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about making a player base icon, just kind of the thing that's above your base. Um, I actually had someone in the server who made this, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna remake it and uh, get it out to you guys. So I'll show you that in a sec here. But if you're new to my channel, of course, you saw the beginning of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, like, and share. Um, I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, and I appreciate you guys very, very much. So thank you. Um, but yeah, so you're just gonna head into the description, and like I said, all the links are down there. So feel free to check them out. There's a whole on kit. There's the every uh, thing you things you need. Um, unfortunately, I cannot make this a Roblox model. Uh, I kind of talked about this in my other videos just because that Roblox doesn't allow it. Um, just because of the require we use for module scripts. And I guess the new update, they started getting rid of it because they think it's virus. It's virus. But yeah, so if you join my Discord, it's in here. Uh, the, G the gag kit updates. It's just right here. It's just the model. You can download this and you're going to import it into your game. Or, of course, if you do have the kit, go to my profile and it will have the whole kit for you. So you can just get that. That's also linked down there. Uh, but yeah, actually, talking about this, who made this was, um, I think it was Beam. Um, he kind of talked about this already, user image over the plot. But I did, Beam, if you're watching this video, I did actually redo some of it because yours, when the player left, it didn't get deleted. Um, and I'll show you why and some of the other things and how we fixed it. And it looks like he has a weather system too. So um, I'll have to look at that later and see how he did that because uh, I'm actually probably planning on doing the weather system soon. And yes, guys. We are doing admin commands and everything. It's going to come very soon. But I do need to fix a bug where I guess the plots, people are getting things that are spawned in the wrong area. I've already been testing with Ego, so I'm going to have to redo that. Um, but yeah, so just <coughs> showing you. Whoa, that was loud. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just the little, the little uh, icon. So um, let's say if there was someone right over here, it would show up over there. But let's say you zoom out so you can't see it. Um, so there's a certain distance that you guys can change. It's up to you. But as you can tell, that's all it is. Just a little image thing. Um, not too bad, actually. And it does go over the character, which I can also show you how to change. Um, but yeah, so going like that. Uh, oh, yeah, I already have it right here. So if you do import this, you can hit model right up here, you guys. And you just click this model button, and it will just import the link. Or you go to your files, and then you'll just click it. So just feel free to go right to model tab and model, and then import it. Uh, but yeah, it's going to look like this. So services, plot service. So we changed plot service. So make sure to replace your old plot service with this one. Um, once you do that, you're good. And then starter player scripts. This is the new script we made. So put this into starter player scripts. It's called owner icon. And then there is this little readme, which kind of just talks about it super quick. One thing that you guys will have to do is I actually gave you a base plate for it, but you're going to have to make yourself a part that's called owner tag. And you're going to go inside your plots. Honestly, what I did was I just grabbed TV part and I duplicated it, control D. And I just dragged it up here, blah, blah, blah. And then I renamed it owner tag. But once you do that, or if you want to grab this right here, this little um, example one, you can do that and put that into your thing. But you got to make sure every single one has one. So um, as you can tell, two. And then it, I'm just clicking F, by the way, to go to these. Um, you basically just go through them and make sure that everything has them. And you can change the heights and everything. You can do control D. Literally drag it over and just put it in the white run. Just make sure it's the right one, you know, just things like that. Uh, but yeah, so once you do that, that's the first step. Very simple. Um, we can talk about owner icon, I guess. Um, this is the distance. So if you want to, it's in studs. Um, so if you want to change that to how far you are to see the icon, um, I, you could do 20 to make it farther or 5 to make it less. I, honestly, 10 is good. 15, maybe 20 is good too. Um, but yeah, this kind of just talks about the, uh, the we're using run service and we're just checking if the player is close enough to that position. And that's where we're enabling or disabling it based off of the um, distance right here. So basically, yeah, we go through the plots, find that, find the owner tag, and then we just check if there's the owner tag. We find if there's a billboard UI, which there should be, um, if there is an image label, and then blah, 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 then local distance equals blah 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 so we get the player's position and the magnitude of that and we enable it based off of the distance and it's less than or equal to 10. Um, and then of course if it just blinked removed disable the 
So that's good. That's that's pretty much it. Pretty simple stuff. Um, plot service. We did a little differently. Um, so you can actually close some of these out. Um, create server model, update plot, and then data loaded. Okay, so all we did um, uh, is in here, we set up the owner tag. So local owner tag is plot fibers child owner underscore tag. If it's not in there, we'll tell you that we can't find a tag. So that's something to look at and you'll appear in your output. And then this is where it comes to uh, the creating of the uh, thing. So basically we uh, grab the existing billboard. If there is, then we just destroy it. If there is an existing script, same thing, we destroy it. But we grab it, make a new folder called important, owner tag, and then data. Um, I think for him, I don't know why he did too much of this, but I can show you what I mean where all this gets stored and how it looks. Um, and then we grab an owner value and we set it to that data folder. Um, billboard GUI as well. Um, we just have the billboard GUI. This is where we make it. Um, always on top. So this is what I meant. If you want to just change that to false, that will just basically turn it to uh, false. So it's not always on top. Honestly, I sometimes like it on false because it just looks better. Um, and then the image label. And then we just, this is where we make the image label itself. Um, we're just using headshot, the size and everything like that. And then we just get the get user thumbnail async. So we grab the player user ID. We set it to the thumbnail type and size. Then we set the transparency, blah, blah, blah UI corner. Um, and we set the parent to the GUI. So we set that image label to the GUI. Um, this is what we had in the old stuff. But then, of course, player removed. If we find that they have an owner tag, we just destroy all of the children. Um, and yes, this is where I had to fix that part where when someone left, it wasn't getting destroyed. So now it does. Um, and that's it. The, none of this got changed, so we're good. But yeah, so it's just the player removed and then the player added or, you know, data loaded, basically. Um, and that's how that works. Um, I can actually show you real quick. Um, ah, it's so loud. Um, so if you go to workspace and you go to plots, and I don't know which one am I at. Is this two? Okay. Oh, no, this is one. So owner tag, as you can tell, owner tag, we got the thing there. We have the avatar GUI. This is where it lists and everything. And we have important, which is going to data and then owner. Um, nothing too crazy, though. I mean, I don't know why he has the... Uh, I, had, I probably should check why we even did this. But, I mean, either way, one is having the uh, thing as user ID being taken. So it doesn't really matter. But either way, yeah. Um, but that's it. So it's just basically that little GUI. And um, nothing too crazy for this video. But I think I'm going to probably get the friend boost, like cash boost down here. Um, the next one, I'm going to see about that. But yeah, after that, we're just got more bunch, much more tutorials coming out. Um, let me know if you guys need help. I know there's so many people that are just needing help and stuff. So join the Discord because we kind of do everything through there as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. -bye.